Welcome to the Social Media Data Analysis Demo. The purpose of the Social Media Data Analysis Demo is to illustrate how Twitter and Facebook data can be combined in one click view document to compare and analyze Twitter and Facebook activity and sentiment for six companies. This demo allows a company, my company in this case, to compare their Twitter and Facebook statistics to five other companies in their industry. The data for this demo was collected using two QV source connectors, the Twitter connector and the Facebook pages connector. On the intro sheet, we are looking at sentiment. Sentiment analysis is the processing of words to determine the attitude of the writer regarding some topic. While sentiment is subjective, it could be used to gather insight into how people are feeling about a company. This bar chart compares the number of positive tweets, posts, and comments and the number of negative tweets, posts, and comments between my company and their competitors. You can easily see that my company had the most positive tweets, posts, and comments and Company B had the most negative tweets, posts, and comments. The ratio of positive tweets, posts, and comments to negative tweets, posts, and comments is highest for Company D at 7.3 positive to each negative. The dashboard sheet allows you to compare Twitter and Facebook data side by side, from activity over time to sentiment. My company had an event in September and we can see a spike in the number of tweets during that time for Twitter and Facebook. This chart that displays the accumulated average sentiment shows how the sentiment for my company began to improve after the event in September. My company could conclude that people were speaking positively about their event. The Twitter analysis sheet focuses solely on Twitter data and compares the companies with regards to the number of followers they have, clout score, and overall average sentiment. In case you have not heard of clout, clout is a service that measures a user's influence across a social network. It measures the size of someone's network, the content created, and how other people interact with that content. Here we can see that Company A has the most followers, Company E has the highest clout score, and Company B has the highest average sentiment. My company can compare themselves to their peers in the industry. Other statistics such as reach, which is the number of unique Twitter users reached by a tweet, and share of voice, which is the percentage of tweets for one company versus its competitors, can also be found on this sheet. When looking at the tweet and sentiment ranking chart, we can see that my company ranks first in the number of tweets and retweets and second to company B in sentiment. This lets us know that Twitter users talk about my company and often in a positive way. The Facebook analysis sheet focuses on the Facebook data. At the top of the sheet, it centers on the number of likes a company has on Facebook and the average sentiment. We can see that on Facebook, my company is not liked as often as some of their competitors and their average sentiment falls in the middle when compared to similar companies. An interesting chart on this sheet is the external and internal positive post chart that shows the percentage of Facebook posts that are posted by people within the company and outside of the company. We expect internal people to speak highly of their company, so in this chart we want to see which company has the most external positive posts. We can see that for all the companies, more than 50% of their positive posts were made by internal people. Company C had the most positive posts by external people at 46%. We can gather that on Facebook, people do not talk about my company as often as they do on Twitter, but when they do, it is mostly positive. My company ranks third in the number of posts and second with regards to sentiment. The social media data analysis demo demonstrates how social media data can be used by a company to determine how they compare to their competitors. It provides insight into what people are talking about, how often they are doing it, and how they feel about the topic. This demo provides another approach to data analysis. I hope you have enjoyed this social media demo. Thank you for taking the time to see yet another way ClickView can support your business.